All right, you guys, today we're gonna try to install this PPE transmission cooler. We have a 2007 Duramax here. So bear with me, I'm using the cell phone. This is uh, my second video, so kind of learning still. Should be uh, pretty simple, I'm hoping. As you can see, it's down there. I'm gonna go ahead and pull these clips off. Try to get this front grill. And then uh, try to walk you guys step through step on what I'm gonna do, so. Yeah, let's get at it. All right. All right, here we are. So, went ahead and pulled this plastic cover off. Pretty simple. And you can see the transmission cooler down there. I'm gonna pull these dust covers off on both sides. And then pull the Eclipse. And then drain the residual that gets out of here. And looks like you just disconnect these little clips here. And then over here, I think the front grill should pop off pretty easy. And then, uh, yeah, we'll get back to you. All right, next step, pop out these little Eclipse. After you pull off this little dust cover, if you will, one on each side, I went ahead and just used a little pick. And then there was locking here, here, inside the fender on both sides. This little guy busted off. Looks like somebody tried to repair this at some point. And you can see they glued it or whatever. So here's your locking clip, here, here. Look at this beautiful unit. All right, so we're gonna put a uh, little pan underneath to catch some oil, or excuse me, trans fluid. Looks like we got number 10, number 10. And then I believe there's gonna be some rubber grommets or mounting grommets, if you will, underneath. We'll get to that part in a minute. All right, here we go. All right, as you can see, I went ahead and pulled the cooling lines off. Transmission line, cooling lines, whatever you want to call it. We'll go ahead and pull these number 10s off here. A little ratchet. Sorry, I don't have a tripod or a expensive camera set yet. I believe we just returned these off. And I think we need to retain the little clips there right here after we get these screws out. So I'll go ahead and pull these out. One on each side. And yes, I have power tools, but I don't think there's no need for that. So I'll run this off, pull this bad unit out. And what I'd really like to do, I know it's hard to see, but you see that extra metal that flings down? I want to cut that off. We'll see what happens. I'll let you know. All right, the reason why I said that is there's not much airflow to get through here, right? And if you look up in there, You'll see that that metal from the bumper, uh, it's gonna block a little bit of airflow. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait and see, cause I'm pretty confident that I won't have to cut this stuff off. And here's why. Look at the size difference. I mean, this OEM piece is a lot lighter. It doesn't have as big, as, big of a channels here for cooling. Obviously there's not as much surface compared to the PPE. I mean, it's quite noticeable difference. I'm gonna go ahead and set them next to each other a little bit better here. And what you guys can see here. And look at that. Yeah, this thing is uh, no good and I just made a mess. So anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and just make sure that these are nice and clean. And I'm gonna put the uh, hardware that came, install the hardware put these clips on the hardware and it should just lock back in. They supply the Eclipse so you don't have to look for those or buy OEM ones. And also I talked with the tech there, the hole's supposed to be a lot bigger than the OEM ones. So that was one of my concerns. So we'll go ahead and get at that. We'll be back. You can see I have the hardware installed. I went ahead and used um, red Loctite. You guys can roast me in the comments saying I'm never gonna get it off. Put in the retainer clips here. Put the rubber grommet in. This one's rotted. I don't think it's gonna hurt anything. It just kind of holds it in place. I think the uh, 
the fact that it's still there, it's still gonna support it. So I'm not really too worried about it. And then I went ahead and uh, ensured that these fittings were nice and clean. What I'm gonna do is just dab a little fluid here. And go ahead and apply it around here that way. When I put it on, it slides in the O-ring good and doesn't roll it or pinch it or crease it or anything like that. So that should be good. I'm go ahead and set it up, get it tightened back into these holes here and here. And uh, should be able to just push the hoses in each fitting, tighten it down and check the fluid and be done. All right, so that's it. It is installed. I'll tell you guys, that was really easy. Just ensured that these clips are clipped in, the E-clips. I don't know if you'll be able to see in the video, but you can see a little bit of blue on the other side of the hard line there. So I know they're locked in. And just snap on these dust clips. That should be good. Here's the tools I had to use, nothing. And then just to show you, I'm in the Mojave Desert, so I'm a little sweaty, did not get dirty. Hands are pretty clean. I mean, straightforward, you guys. Easy to do. This thing feels great. Um, reason why I did not cut this, I feel like that's going to do the job. And if not, I'll open it up. Here's an example. If I got to make it look like that, I will. So, but yeah, great product. My fault for busting this. So anyways, I'm learning. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Second video, like I said. Uh, super hot out here. I barely sweated. That was really easy. Great product. Peace.